Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A pleasure to meet you, Your Worship. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. While in Val Royo, I found something incredible. After 800 years, we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. That would be a fascinating discovery. Inquisitor Emeridan stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars even existed. I'm all for history if it means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. A scout, Harding. You had me at equipment. Thought you might like that. Your scouts have gathered artifacts from the area. They may help us discover what Inquisitor Emeridan was doing. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who get close. We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning, merciless, and know the basin better than we do. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. That's something you don't see every day. A pair of shrines. This one is clearly Andrastian, albeit from a very early period, likely pre-divine. But this is Elven, one of their gods. Uh, what was it? Every mother finds Druffalo among sleeping juniper groves. G something, the one with the deer. That would be Gilanar, mother of the Hala. Yes, brilliant, thank you. Oh, that would have bothered me all day. Two shrines for two lovers, Inquisitor Emeridan and Talana. Maybe Talana was an elf. Oh, yes, that's good. The Chantry expunged references to elves before the exalted march on the Dales. They erased the canticle of Shartan. They must have done the same to Talana. Do you think this is where Emeridan died? No, this was a site of preparation, not burial. Emeridan and Talana put up this shrine together. Look at those flowers. They're not native to the area. What if they were left at the shrine as an offering? Yes, a night of prayer before battle against the dragon. But then where? Where? We're missing something. What are we missing? Oh, where did you go? Your Skald and your Scout are here. We can plan the assault. Oh, I like the sound of Skald. It's more dramatic than Professor. <coughs> <coughs> yes, well, uh, everything we've found out about Inquisitor Emeridan suggests that he never emerged from that Tevinter fortress. If that is where your Inquisitor defeated Hakon, that is where the jaws of Hakon must perform the right to free him. Ideally, we stop them before that. I'd rather not fight an Aval God if we don't have to. You really have no problem with us killing your god? Gods cannot be reborn until they die. Hakon needs a good rebirthing. If you say so. With its ice wall melted, the fortress is open to attack. We must strike soon, before our foes recover. They're already trying. I've got most of our forces defending the shrine from Hakonites who want to restore the wall. If anyone has suggestions, now is the time. What gives you fear, Inquisitor? Is this not the battle you wanted? I'm no warrior, but with Lady Harding's forces defending the shrine and no way to breach the walls... <laughs> Lowlanders, why not climb the walls? Your warriors can get over those walls before the Hakonites stop them? This is not a war, Stone Daughter. This is a raid. We strike at night, clad lightly. We climb the wall and open the gate from inside. If Stonebear Holds can open the gates, we would be grateful. 
The jaws of Hakon have been bugs in my bedroll for months, Inquisitor. We owe you thanks. Inquisition forces will feign weakness near the shrine. That'll draw some of them away from the fortress. Not too many, I hope. Yes, save some for us. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. And the Ran Atishan. I am glad Draken's friendship with our people has remained strong. It has not. Draken's son, Cordillus II, destroyed the Dales. Draken's son? How long? You were the last Inquisitor. There has not been another since you disappeared 800 years ago. Draken was my oldest friend. He would have sent someone to find me. But evidently, he was occupied elsewhere. The Darkspawn, perhaps, or... Talana escaped the battle. Did she... Do the records say what became of her? She returned to the island. From what we can tell, she died trying to reach you through dreams. <sighs> I asked her not to. She was a good hunter and the love of my life, but she never... I never wanted this job. Hunting demons was so much simpler than politics. Inquisitor Ameridan, how could the leader of the Seekers be a mage? Has history forgotten so much? I was not a Seeker myself, as most Inquisitors were. I used my magical gifts in the hunting of demons at Maleficarum. Do the Seekers no longer welcome the aid of mages? No, that was forgotten. Among many other things. Cassandra is a Seeker. And after the Seekers went rogue, she discovered the truth about them. We learned they developed the right of tranquility. You mean sundering one from the Fade? The Seekers do it briefly when granting an initiate their abilities. It has become a way to control mages deemed dangerous. They are left tranquil, permanently. <sighs> Killing a man is ugly work. You learn not to look to it as your first recourse. Sundering them from the Fade is... easy. Bloodless. I told them spreading such a solution would lead to abuse. They swore that would never happen. They promised. <sighs> I am so sorry. Cassandra will rebuild the Seekers into an organization to be proud of again. With the Inquisition's help. Then you both have my thanks. I was a good hunter. I did not want to lead an organization. But Draken told me I was needed. As I suspect you were needed. It hasn't all been bad. I am glad to hear it. And sorry to burden you with my unfinished business. The dragon carries the spirit of an Avar god. I lacked the strength to kill it. My own magic was able to bind us all. Locked in time. But when the cultists drew that spirit into another vessel, it disrupted my bindings. It is breaking free. I'd be honored to finish what you started. Thank you. The passage of years can be delayed, but not ignored. I will soon join Talana at Andraste's side. Take this. It holds the last few memories of an old hunter who was neither as wise nor as strong as he thought. Fight well, Inquisitor. I am honored to have met you. to see you take down a dragon in person. Corypheus had a dragon. You were there when I killed him. Uh, no, I was below when you killed him. Hard to get a good view with a floating mountain in my way. I must say, it's fun to see it up close. Perhaps this calls for a new title. Dragon Slayer Harding, perhaps. Oh, a fancy title goes against the point of being a scout. Nobody should see me coming. Inquisitor Meriden would have been proud that you finished what he started. It's strange. 
history forgot so much of who he was. They never knew he died saving everyone. Do you ever feel that way? You weren't in the fortress. How'd you hear about Emeridan? I'm a scout, remember? Who do you think writes the messages Liliana reads? There are things they don't understand. Things no one outside the Inquisition will ever know. Some of the secrets are necessary. Don't get me wrong. It's just... Every time you're more than just a person to someone, you're also less than a person to them. They don't see that a real normal woman fought the Avar and killed that dragon. And they certainly don't know about your strange fixation with Elfruit. My feelings for Elfruit are classified, Scout Harding. <laughs> I'll carry your secret to my pyre. And for what it's worth, nice work, Lavellan. Anyway, I'll be at camp if there's anything here you want to finish up. Otherwise, see you at Skyhold. I hear you judge wrongs among your people, Inquisitor. If you are willing, I ask you to judge Storvaka. I'm sorry. As a warrior of our hold, Storvaka should have died rather than submit to the vile ritual the jaws of Hakon had prepared. It is unclear whether the Augur or I should judge such a thing. You are here. I would be grateful. I suppose I could render judgment, if it helps the hold. Ah, oh, Storvaka, will you speak to the hold for your deeds? As leader of the Inquisition, I declare this trial sufficiently scornful to be punishment. Live well, be free to go, etc. I see the tales told of your kindness did not lie. 